the transfer function always function of s is, and is normally represented by the letter g s or h s what is this is this value 1 upon m square plus c s plus k what is h of s is also same value so sometimes we use the letter g and sometimes we use the letter h g is normally preferred if you are moving from left to right if you are moving from left to right that is called as forward transfer function the word is not used is word use is what gain and the name is from left to right is forward then hs you should use from right to left then will it be called as backward so what s so we, if i even write the word g you understand is a function of s you when i write the word capital h for regular purpose it is a function of s g is used for forward and h is used for backward this one is r of s is it input this one is c of s is it output now see the block g1 this one is the input for g1 and this one is output of g1 is the output of g1 is the input of g2 and is the output of g2 is here now if i close this that is only this one now do you have a input of g1 is a separate entity but is the output of g1 is same as input of g2 and there is no branch between these two say for example this one is the input of g4 and this one is what output of g4 is the input of g5 but do you have additional branch so you should not have additional branch is the output of g1 entirely goes to g2 and here the part is going is that correct so if you have a block arrangement like this that is the output of one block is input to the next block is called as series arrangement the whole series operation is that the output of the block g1 must be equals to the input of the block g2 but in between these two there should not be take off point like this one the branch should not be get divided so this is not a series operation but this is a series operation so this block is let call this one is g1 this one is g2 this one is g3 rule is not applicable for number of blocks we can have any number of blocks only that the output of the block g1 must be the input of g2 output of g2 must be input of g3 then all this arrangement will be called as a series arrangement rule number 2 is also strictly followed there is no take off point so rule is for any number of blocks rule number 1 must be satisfied and rule number 2 is satisfied then only it is called as the series so this is r of s so signal will not divide so this value equals to r of s this value equals to r of s we know that how to read this this value multiplied by g1 is it equals to some new value let call this equals to what b1s let label this any number and this one is r of s multiplied by g2 so is this value will be equals to what b2s and now here is addition so this one is what cus equals to what is it b1s plus b2s but what is b1s b1s equals to what is it r of s multiplied by g1 and what is b2s of s multiplied by g2 so does it means that this is g1 plus g2 this one is g1 g2 r of s and this equals to what c of s so is the transfer function is what is transfer function output upon input is it equals to g1 plus g2 means this two block will vanish and we get a new block and in that new block is a transfer function value will be equals to g1 plus g2 at this side we have input equals to what r of s this side we have output equal to what c of s so is it a addition process so such type of arrangement is called as parallel array why it is parallel let me frame the rule first is the input of both blocks is it same or input of any number of block must be same any number maybe 2 maybe 3 maybe 
but all of them must have same input and second observation is that is the output of each block is in, in the same summing point this symbol is called as summing point subtraction as per their side so what is the rule number one? the input signal for all block must be same all these blocks must have same input signal second is output signal for all block must end in the same summing point all these output must end into the same summing point what is the sign doesn't matter how many blocks are there doesn't matter it can be applicable to any number and the direction of traversing whether you travel left to right or you travel right to left doesn't matter and whenever we have a parallel element we get the addition so just remember the word parallel means addition complete arrangement whatever you find here g1 g2 use the sign like this g1 has what sign plus g2 has what this sign is minus suppose this sign is minus then is the value of b2s will be negative then this value will be negative then is this value is negative so what is the result the result you have to show like this that if the sign of g1 is positive you write positive if the sign of g2 is negative you write negative in my previous case it was plus now we will check this one more time now check this signal is the input of this and the input of this is it same as this and is the output of this block and output of this block is it going into the same block so is it meant so what is the result of this one all this block will be replaced and will be equal to our g1 plus g2 ok let's focus on this one is the input of this one is same as cs input of the second block is also equal to what cs and the output of this one is it going to the same summing point so every time you don't have to do this calculation you have to just observe that these two are in what parallel so this must be close that is two blocks plus one summing point and is result of this one so what is the sign of g3 is plus and what is the sign of g2 g4 minus so answer is this Sign. Direction matter or direction doesn't matter. Direction doesn't matter. Whether you go to right to left or you go to left to right. So let's discuss the rule for say this one is R of S and this one is C of S. Now the both conditions are satisfied, so we want to solve for this. So this is R of S multiplied by G1. So is this answer is something new that equal to what? B1S. So what is B1S? B1S is G1 multiplied by R of S. So in what B1S? So B1S is multiplied by G2. Will you get new value equal to what? B2S. So what is the previous value? G1 into RS. So this is multiplied by what? G2. So is this value with G1 multiplied by G2 multiplied by what? R of S. So is this signal is the input to this one? Is multiplied by further G3. So is this value with G1, G2? G3 is it equal to R of S? It means that CS equals to what? G1 into G2 into G3 is equal to what? R of S. So can we write this information? That is all this block will vanish. Instead of that, we have one input equal to what? R of S. One output equal to what? C of S. R of is always written on left hand side. C of S is always written on right hand side. Then this one is the transfer function. Is it G1 into G2 into G3? This one is called as transformation. Again, check out. This into this is equal to this. So, does the series means multiplication? Series means 